Thanks Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. It is 6 a.m. and there's one plan. We're gonna go catch a swordfish. As you saw, we caught this fish down on the bottom. Yep. Believe it or not, he's covered in mud. Check this out. Watch what happens whenever I take this brush and I just start, see how I do this? Oh wow, <laughs> full of mud. Who would have ever thought you'd get mud off a swordfish, but you do. Here's what we're gonna do, is way too much fish right now for us to eat the whole thing. Absolutely. And I wanna see what happens if you dry age it. Dry age? Yes. Why not, right? Hey, you dry aged an alligator. I dry age everything. <laughs> I'm thinking for the dry age, let's go from there to there. Okay. That's gonna be a nice uniform piece. Look at that. Check this out, everybody. Oh, wow. Look at that. It does not get any fresher than that. We're gonna find out with this one right now. And this is exactly what it looks like when I got home. I must say, it is a beautiful piece of meat. The only thing I really had to do is to remove this bone piece right here. I have no idea what's about to happen because I've never dry aged a swordfish before. So to ensure success, I'm going to be using the dry aging bags. As you can see, this piece of meat was so large I had to remove a little bit. If not, it would not fit in the bag. Now once everything was in, the only thing left to do was to put it in a cooling rack so that the air can circulate all the way around. As now, the only thing left to do is to let the time do its thing, because into the refrigerator he goes for 35 days. Once the time was up, I took it out, removed it from the bag, and this is what I was left with. That is what a 35 days dry aged swordfish looks like. I must say there is zero smell and I was super excited to cut it open and when I did, take a look. The red you see is the bloodline. That is extremely fishy and it has to go. But once I took that part out, take a look. Now that is what I'm talking about. So I went ahead and continued to remove all of the pellicles. That is the outer skin that is produced whenever you dry aging anything. Once that was done, I started to slice everything into steaks. And every steak I was taking out, one looked better than the other. Because because once I was done with all of the butchering, this is what I was left with. Now that looks fantastic. Perfectly dry aged and I have no idea how it's gonna taste. But I'll tell you one thing I'm looking forward to finding out right now. And to have a true comparison, I went ahead and defrosted a fresh one. That way we're really gonna be able to tell if there's any differences between them. Because the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them up. And to really taste the flavor of the fish, I went ahead and kept the seasoning extremely simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. I did the same exact thing for the fresh one as well, because once I was done with all of the seasoning, all there was left to do is to bag them up, vacuum seal them, and they are now ready for sous vide. That was perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make an awesome side dish. And who does not like roasted potatoes? They should pair up perfectly with the swordfish. To cook them, it is as simple as it gets. I first sliced them up and coated them with olive oil. Make sure to shake them around so every single one of them is perfectly coated. Then I seasoned them well with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Mix everything together so every one of them is perfectly seasoned. Throw them in a baking sheet, spread them out and throw them in the oven. Because once you take it out, look, it only takes about 30 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit on bake. As you can see, they are perfectly golden brown. That is what I'm talking about. These are delicious. Now just in case my swordfish is gonna turn out bad, I went ahead and made a sauce. And this one is perfect. To make it, it's super simple, let me show you. Into the pan, I threw in a good amount of butter. Remember to keep it under low heat. And as always, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below for you. Then I threw in some garlic and shallots. Cook them under low heat and don't let them burn. As now you wanna throw in some lemon juice and a little bit of fish stock, not too much. Let this simmer and reduce. Then you wanna add a little bit of Dijon mustard, followed by lemon zest, and of course, heavy cream. Mix everything together so you can thicken up. As you can see, as it's reducing, it's gonna thicken up on you real quick. To finish off the sauce, throw in some capers. Check for saltiness, because once you have done so, your sauce is done. Now that is how easy it is to make it. And I'll tell you one thing, this this thing is delicious and it is absolutely perfect to go along with our swordfish. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to cook them. I'll be doing so at 130 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. That will cook the fish all the way through and I cannot wait to find out how it's gonna taste. Dry aged swordfish, never had it, have no idea what to expect, but at the same time, I am curious to find out how it's gonna taste. If you ever had dry aged fish, put down in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think. But with all that being said, the fish is ready, we are hungry, and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. 
I only wish you guys could smell how wonderful this thing smells. Even though it's a little bit fishy, but at the same time, it smells fantastic. If you love fish, you will like it. If you hate it, maybe it's just not for you. <laughs> but at the same time, the only thing left to do now is to put a nice, wonderful sear. For today, we're gonna be using the grill. I want it nice, hot, and fast, and most importantly, baste a little bit with butter because it's fish. It needs that fat. But I know what you're thinking. I know my fish don't look that good right now. But watch this. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Bright Sellers. You see me using wine for cooking all the time, but I also like to enjoy a good glass with my meal. And with Bright Sellers, I get to enjoy wines that were selected just for me. You see, it's very easy. You take a quiz and their in-house sommelier handpicks wine based on your preferences and matches you with wines from all over the world curated for your palate. This week, I was pleasantly surprised with wines I have never tried before. And I have to be honest, they hit it right on the money. Perfect match. Bright Seller focuses on finding unique hidden gems from small vineyards all over the world. It's super convenient. They send wines directly to my door. Look at this. Every box comes with wine education cards with tasting notes, suggested pairing, best serving temperatures, and origin. Bright Sellers also offer wines beyond your typical grocery store wine, including sustainable varietals and biodynamic wines. The packaging is completely recyclable, plastic-free, and the smallest carbon footprint box in the industry. And who are we kidding? It's the perfect time of the year to have a few extra bottles around. Bright Sellers will help point you towards the stuff you want to taste and and be proud to serve. So go do the quiz. Just follow the link and get paired up with delicious wines. Bright Sellers is giving my followers 50% off their first six bottle box. That's six bottles for just $45. It is a crazy good deal. Thank you, Bright Sellers, for sponsoring this video. But now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful fish. We got Leo in the house, Angel in the house. I love fish. Leo has been getting Trying into it. fish. Yeah. You hate fish, it's fair to say. <laughs> So we're gonna know which one is better. Okay, so obviously when I got to split it like this, you guys already know what's about to happen, right? So you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's try these first and let me know. No sauce, okay? Because I know that with the sauce is gonna be quite well. Nope, nope, not that side, my friend. You gotta try this side. Oh man, I ruined them. Hey, do guess the ugly fish now. All right, enough talking, you ready? Yeah. All right, cheers everybody. Cheers. Mm, I must say first, that hit the spot for me right now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> yeah. Biting it, it just falls apart. It's super delicious, flaky, perfect. It has a texture very similar to steak, but this one is so tender because it was cooked sous vide. That's why I call this the steak of the sea. What do you think, the fish hater? It's not that fishy. <laughs> yeah. That's what makes me not like fish. That's when it has that very fishy taste. But so you're okay with this one? This one's okay. Yeah, as far as fish goes, this one's okay. I guess that's what, two yeses and a no? It's three yeses. This is, I can oh. eat this. I can okay. eat this. So that is our control. Now the second one is gonna be a little bit different, all right? Wait, 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 wait. Can we please try the side dish? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I even forgot about it. Let's I, go for I, it. I have these potatoes staring me right in the face and I just can't, I just can't help myself. I need, I need hey, to ask again. Look, I usually tell my friends, hey, you know, you come for the Wagyu, you stay for the side dish. <laughs> Yeah, it's true because the wagyu is very little, everybody. <laughs> Usually they'll come and they'll be wowed by whatever cool protein we got going on that day. But usually they end up staying eating the little side dish, man. Yeah, side dishes are ours. I mean, what do you think about the potatoes? I think they're beautiful. A super, like, mm. oh, salty, yeah. just like I love. Soft. This is beautiful. The wonderful thing about these potatoes is that I can't stop eating them, first of all. Second of all, <laughs> that is, is that... That is a wonderful thing. Always, yeah. a, good, always a good sign. <laughs> And uh, it's uh, so easy to make. It's like, it's foolproof, everybody. That is delicious. Okay, awesome. I'm excited for the fish. You ready? Salty. Nice. Yeah. Angel, remember, you get the ugly fish. That's yeah. right. Let me know if this is a little different, bad, ugly. Oh, wow. Oh, man. It's so tender. I'm okay. yeah, it's oh, you guys going, going big. I'm going big. Oh, no, we're going, everybody. We're going uh, for real. Oh, my God. What Leo didn't I, think about. I is, just remembered. This is, a this is an experiment, experiment <laughs> right here. I don't know what the hell. 
going on? I was here like getting lost in all these delicious flavors and I realized like, oh wait, this is about, <laughs> this could potentially take a really bad turn right now. So you know what? Let me get a small piece. Yeah, Leo been here before. He actually could be something uh, yeah. south. <laughs> <laughs> all right, enough. Let's try this. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, wow. Google's right. That's good. Wow. That's better than that one. Yeah, I was gonna say absolutely, and it somehow tastes juicier too. Juicier. Yes, absolutely. I agree 100. percent I think this second one had more pop. It wasn't so flat when it comes to flavor. It was more flavorful. It's more in your face. Yeah. Pop. Yeah. Absolutely. By the way, this is a dry age fish. The very first time I wow. dry aged wow. some fish. That's actually. It was actually like more juicy. The difference in flavor very subtle yeah. the difference in juiciness that one's more juicy yeah the by dry a, age one wins on the juiciness by, agree? by a landslide you gotta try with the potato and you gotta mix it with no the but sauce. now i want you to try with the sauce no, but first before you that try, you let me know about this sauce let's try with the sauce i want to know your true opinion with the sauce this is too flaky right? yeah it's let very flaky yeah oh he's going big now <laughs> i don't like fish but this is starting to make me like fish. <laughs> <laughs> all right with the sauce Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, wow. That's like... Google, you knocked it out of the park. With the sauce, is so much better. The sauce makes the fish feel like it has a walker. A walker. A walker. What? It's mature. What? That's not <laughs> mature. That's a senior citizen. Yeah, bro. <laughs> well, this makes it feel like a senior citizen. Angel, I oh, can't. Okay. I can't tell if you're complimenting the fish or insulting. No, it. it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a, okay. It's like class. It's, you know? a, it's a nice walker. It's got, got like it, got gold it, got on it. the side and stuff. What do you guys think? Do you recommend dry aging or not? Absolutely. I think the dry age made it taste a little bit better. It does taste better. Yeah. It tastes juicier if you're cooking it sous vide. It has a slightly more flavor, flavor, but but nothing crazy like beef. Beef, it's like night and day and yeah. get funky. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. And if you are wondering if this made it better, yes, it did. Unanimous? I think so, yeah. I think Unanimous. everybody agrees. Yeah. But if you are also wondering, about the potatoes. I got and, you, Angel. And and what they're like. They're so <laughs> wonderful because I just can't stop eating them. Right, Google? <laughs> <laughs> potatoes are amazing. See you on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye.